Hello there, welcome to the first video on the series of sequences. It says, work out the next three terms in each of the following sequences and the rule to find the next term. So we've got 17, 12, 7 and 2. Just write those out, put a comma between each one. The three dots means that the sequence continues forevermore. Now, one thing about mathematics is it is uh, about spotting patterns and sequences is about this. Now, if you notice, to go from 17 to 12, you can take uh, 5, and then from go from 12 to 7, you also got to take 5, and then go from 7 to 2, you've got to take 5. And you continue that pattern along, you take 5 from 2, you get into negative numbers, minus 3. Take away another 5 from minus 3, you get minus 8, and then take away another 5 from minus 8, you get minus 13. So this is what's known as a linear sequence. It's changing by the same, what's known as common difference e each time. We're going to look at these in more detail later. And the three dots means it carries on. The next uh, three terms are going to be then the ones in green, minus 3, minus 8, minus 13. And the rule is going to be subtract 5 or add minus 5 to the previous term. In part B, we've got 1, 3, 9, and 27. Well, you might notice if you go from multiply 1 by 3, you get 9. And then you get 3 by 3, you get 9. And then 3 9s are 27. If we carry that process on, 3 times 27 is 81. And then 3 times 81 is 243. And 3 times 243 is 729. That carries on, and therefore the next three terms are going to be 81, 243, and 729. The rule is going to be multiply the previous term by 3. Now none of these, like if I needed to find the hundredth term by, uh, of these sequences, I'm not going to keep on doing this process, I only need to come up with sort of another rule. This rule only tells me what to do to the previous term. Right, part C is a little bit more difficult. We've got 1, 2, 5, and 14. With a little bit maybe of trial and improvement, you might realise if you multiply 1 by 3, that gives you 3. If you multiply 2 by 3, it gives you 6. And if you multiply 5 by 3, that gives you 15. Maybe just pause the video for one moment and to see how you what you would actually do next. Right, you might have realised that 3 is 1 more than 2, so to get back to 2, I'd need to take 1. To get back to 5, I'm going to take 1. And get back to uh, 14, I'm going to take 1. So continuing that pattern, 14 times 3 gives me 42. Take away 1, it's going to give me 41. 41 times 3 gives me 123. Take 1 from that, it's going to give me 122, and then multiply 122 by 3 gives me 366, and again take away 1 gives me 365, and it's going to continue. So therefore the next three terms are 41, 122, 365. So it's a little bit more difficult that one. Um, you, this one has actually two operations to get from one term to the next. So the rule is going to be multiply the previous term by 3 and then subtract 1. In the final one, it's 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. Sometimes this sequence begins with a 0 in front as well. Now you might notice if you do 1 plus 1, you get 2. If you go 1 plus 2, you get... 3. If you get 2 plus 3, you get 5. Now you can see maybe sometimes well, there's a 0 in front. If you carry that on, so you now have to do 3 plus 5, you're going to get 8. And then you do 5 plus 8, you're going to get 13. And you're going to do uh, 8 plus 13, you're going to get 21. That carries on. And therefore, the next three terms are going to be 8, 13, and 21. And the rule is that you add the two previous terms together. Now this sequence, normally with a zero in front, is actually called, known as Fibonacci's sequence. Okay, and it occurs quite a lot in nature and in, in, in the natural world. And we will have a look at this uh, later. 
I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.